Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to wrap up our Doodle series with a culminating project that brings everything we've learned about Doodles together. Here is a portion of my example. So let's explore how we're gonna use Doodles today. In our last video, you created watercolor backgrounds from paint or using the drawing app Adobe Fresco. Choose one to work on top of. I like to have a design that has lots of different colors and shapes I can draw on top of. So choose your favorite one. Now you'll need to grab a pen and keep your sketchbook nearby. If you ever get stuck or run out of ideas, you can use the combinations and variations that you came up with to add shapes and line patterns to your background. And your Personify project is another great resource for understanding how to use your imagination and come up with interesting ways to add to your watercolors. So if you feel like doodling faces or characters instead of lines and shapes, feel free to do so. It's whatever speaks to you. Now you will find something informative to listen to. This could be an audiobook, a podcast, a talk, a documentary. It can be something that's entertaining to you, but also make sure you're going to learn something throughout it. In the project assignment, I have provided you some of my top suggestions for talks about creativity and mental health, but you can find whatever interests you, whether it's about history or the environment, animals or human behavior, you choose. Doodling is thinking in disguise. In 2009, psychologist Jackie Andre asked 40 people to listen to a boring two-minute voicemail. Half of the group doodled while they listened to the voicemail, while the other half did not. The group that doodled recalled 29% more information from the voicemail. So, let's experiment and find out how you might be able to learn something with your doodling practice. As you work on your project, I want you to take three photographs from the beginning, middle, and end. We will use these on your process board that you will turn in for an assessment grade. I will talk about that after you watch my process in creating my doodle. So my choice is that I listen to a podcast called Unlocking Us, where Brene Brown interviews Alicia Keys. I chose this because I love her music and I was interested in learning more about the memoir she wrote about authenticity and her creativity. So I press play and I began to draw my doodles. Now that you have finished your doodle, I want you to reflect on that experience. So gather your images and open up Notability or whatever other writing app that you like to use. As you can see, I open up Notability 
and I use the plus sign to add in my images. From there, I'm going to start placing some text around the images and write about my process. For your process board, I want you to answer these questions. What did I listen to while I created this artwork? Where did I have areas of struggle or ease throughout the creation? And at the end, how do I feel about my final results? Do I like my doodle? Do I not like my doodle? And then you explain. And finally, and the most important part is, do you believe doodling helped you learn the information you are listening to? Why or why not? Once you are done with the process board, go ahead and save it to your Google Drive as a PDF or take a screenshot and save it as an image on your camera roll. That way you can open up the assignment that I have posted and go ahead and turn it in. I hope throughout this series, you were able to take away how useful doodles can be in your creative process, as well as your learning process. So next time that you get in trouble for doodling in a meeting, you can say, hey, this helps me think. Doodles may seem frivolous at a first glance, but they can lead to some really powerful ideas. Just take a look at the first doodle sketches created by architect Frank Gehry, who designed the Guggenheim in Abu Dhabi. I hope that you are proud of the doodles that you've created and that this is just the beginning of a lifelong love of a dedicated doodler.